Hey, what's up guys? Alex from Hoppos. Uh, doing this video right here so you guys understand the basic plumbing of a uh, basic hydraulic pump. Um, we're going to go over on this video uh, front, back, corner, corner. So that's going to be one dump to the front and uh, two dumps to the back. Uh, and if you guys are looking for front, back, side of side, check out the other video. There's another video posted for front, back, uh, side of side. So this one front, back, corner, corner, corner is going to be a single dump to the front and two dumps to the back. Uh, so the main thing I'm going to go over is going to be the front pump. So if you guys purchase the kit from us, you guys are going to have a pump that's going to look very similar to this right here. Um, it might vary depending on backing plate and uh, finish depending on what you guys chose. Um, but this is going to be standard uh, pump right here. This is 3 8 ports on the top. Uh, some do come with 3 8 some come with half. Again, it depends on what you guys chose when you guys ordered the kit. And what I'll do here is I'm going to go through the basic fittings you'll be needing for this. In the kit should have, let me take that cap off, should have a 3 8 uh, male to a 3 8 female live swivel. And then you're going to have a check valve. The check valve is 3 8 3 8 pipe. Uh, make sure you guys pay attention because the check valve, they do have ball bearings. Um, and I can't stress this enough. Make sure this ball bearing is put in the correct position. If you put it in the wrong way, like this, um, it's going to either jam up your gear, uh, blow an o-ring, blow seals, possibly blow the gear off. So you guys want to make sure you guys are putting this the right way. Um, I'll go over, over exactly how we're going to do it in a second. So just so you guys see, so it's going to be your 90 swivel to the check valve to a T. It would be male, female, female. And I'm just putting it, laying it out here, guys, so you guys can see it. Straight, 3 8 to number 6 GRC. One basic dump. The dump could finish could be uh, different. Could be a chrome finish, could be a black delta finish, uh, could uh, be in one of our Italian dumps. But if it is a basic dump with the three ports, bottom, you know, side, and side, then this is going to be the same configuration for you guys. So the dump will sit right here. You're also going to have a 3 8 plug. Make sure that gets right there. And 3 8 pipe to straight uh, number 6 JIC. That's going to go on the back side. Uh, and then you're going to have your slowdown. Your slowdown is going to be 3 8 pipe on both sides. So pipe, pipe. This one and this one look identical, minus the color. Don't look at that. But as far as pipe, size, and everything, the difference. It's going to be the inside. On this one, you can see right through it. This one has that check valve. So make sure you guys don't get these mixed up. I know there's going to be a few of you guys like, hey, you know, that's, that's simple. Why are you going over that? But this video is based on, uh, for basic guys, on how to assemble the pump. So make sure you guys are doing that. All right. So right here, what we'll start off with on assembling. Um, well, let me run over this so you guys can see. This is going to be the basic pump. There's going to be pressure and return. If you guys are kind of mixed up, don't know which one's which, the easiest way to do is make sure there's no tank plug on here. Blow through it. If you could blow through it on this hole, if you blow through it and you can hear the air coming out of the tank, that's going to be your return side. The pressure side is going to be more towards the center. Not 100%, but more towards the center. If you could try to blow through that one, what's going to do is it's just going to be stuck. You're not going to be allowed to blow through it, and that's going to be your pressure. So remember, your return is going to be free flow. I know it's kind of weird putting you know, your, your face up to it and blowing into it, but it's going to be the easiest way to determine. Um, if you guys aren't sure on how it goes, you know, don't be shy. Just do it real quick. So the way we're going to start off is going to be with the swivel. The swivel is going to go into your pressure. Again, make sure the pressure one is going to be directly, um, well, not directly in the center, but more towards the center than this one. Uh, so this is going to be your pressure. So you're going to put this guy on. And the way I'm doing it is going to be just pretty generic. If you guys want to move it a different way, you know, feel free to do it. Um, I'm just doing it, you know, for video's sake, just doing it by hand. Uh, make sure you guys are tightening it up 100%. All right. So your dump, this is a basic delta dump. This T, th this is going to go into one of the free flow sections. Um, the reason I say free flow is I'm going to go back into the blowing thing. If you guys blow through this... Air is allowed to travel directly through here. If you plug one side, air is trapped in here. 
So just remember this is free flow and this only opens, this chamber only opens when you trigger your dump. So put your T on. And then what you're going to do is this check this the ball bearing on the check valve. Make sure this is going to go ball. This is the ball side. Make sure this goes directly into your swivel. Um, and you guys make sure you're doing this right because if not, you're going to blow your gear off, blow an O-ring, crack a key. So again, pressure comes directly out of here and is going to shoot through this fitting. You want to make sure that the ball is closest to the swivel. If you guys have it the other way around, you're, uh, you're going to cause some damage. So in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys on here. I took the that check valve off again. And if you guys are setting it up on here, you're going to make sure the ball is on this side. Make sure the ball's over here on the check valve. Because remember, your oil is going to come directly through here. And this is going to be called a, a bypass dump, pretty much. And the reason it's called that is you're bypassing the dump. Pretty simple. Um, 3 8 plug. You're going to plug this backside. Remember what we did? We blew through here. This chamber was wide open. What happens when you plug this right here? Now, when you pressurize your pump and you hit the switch, your oil is going to come directly up through here, out into your cylinders. When you hit the dump, this right here is going to trigger open and it's going to let the oil come back down this way. The reason it can't come this way is because your check valve. So make sure you guys have that check valve right. Make sure this is plugged. And then this is going to be your return. All right, so now that that basically is done, um, I'm going to put this on here. Again, I'm just doing this hand tight so you guys can see how it works. All right. So can you see it? Oh, taking off the whole video station. One second, guys. Fire for this one. <laughs> This is the way it's going to go right here. So you guys see it? This is your sw your 90 to swivel, check valve, T, straight, dump, plug, and straight. So now that this is all assembled, let me straighten this out one more time. Now that this is all assembled right here, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to work on the slowdown. Your slowdown is going to be what controls your fluid. So if you drop the car down when you first build it, um, and it drops down too fast, just turn your slowdown clockwise. If you go counterclockwise, it's opening it up. So normally the way I start out is I always close it. So you're going to go pipe, 3 8 3 8 pipe, into the slowdown. And this guy's going to go right here. Go one more time just so you guys get a good idea. So this is how it's going to look. Slow down and dump. Then, remember your oil is going to come out through here. It's going to free flow. This is going to be your main line right here. It's going to be your main line to your two cylinders in the front. Um, or if you guys are doing front and back, you know this will work for front and back as well. Uh, then your slow down or your uh, return hose is going to get connected into the return. Sorry guys, it keeps moving around because it's not tight, but just so you guys get an idea. And then you're going to get connected into the top hose. So you guys can see it. Pretty simple, not too hard. A lot of guys get intimidated by this section, but it's not that bad, honestly. Alright, so just uh, turn it back how we had it the whole time. Just so we go over the whole video um, real quick one more time. This is your pressure. You guys can't see. Let me tilt this. This is your pressure fitting. This is your check valve. So your pressure is going to come, when you hit the switch, your motor spin, the gear spins, the motor spins. Um, it's going to pressurize this. Oil is going to come in, shoot through here. 
It's going to come out and it's going to go into your uh, your cylinders. The reason the oil doesn't come back is because of this check valve. Make sure the ball bearing is on the correct side. Make sure the ball bearing is closest to the block, not to the fitting over here. And then what you're going to do, or not what you're going to do, but then what happens is when the oil gets stuck right here, the oil is uh, captured in this section and in your whole lines. So that's when you, you know, you're driving, you're cool, it's locked up in the front. When you dump it down, what you're doing is you're actually triggering this right here. So when this opens, the oil comes in and drops down into this line and goes back into the tank. So that's going to be you know, your dump valve and the return line and the slowdown. So this is pretty basic and simple. So this will finish off your front pump if you're doing front back corner corner. Now this is a front uh, dump assembly bypassed. If you guys are looking to do the back side, uh, the back pump, uh, check out the other video. The other video is posted on my page as well. And that's going to be how to assemble front back side to side. Pretty much what that's going to be showing you is going to be how to assemble a two dump assembly. So this would be your front pump and the other video will show you how to do your back pump. Thanks guys for watching. My name's Alex. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to call us. 909-923-5553. Uh, um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. If you're watching this, it's probably on YouTube. Um, and we go from there. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate. Call us. Um, you know, we're pretty cool guys here. All of us can help you out. Anyone that answers the phone, um, you know, we'll be able to shoot you in the right direction. And if you guys get stuck, watch this video, pause it, assemble it. And you guys still need more help from there, then uh, go ahead and just call me up. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.